Good morning. I am a morning person, but it just takes me a minute to wake up. I've been told to stop saying, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, because if you watch all my videos consecutively, it's so repetitive. So I recently put up a picture of my skin on Instagram, and you'll remember from my, well, if you've watched my videos, when one of my first videos I was speaking about how I constantly was having breakouts all on my chin area and just here on the top of my cheek I just thought it was hormonal like I literally just thought maybe this is it I'm gonna get adult acne my skin's gonna start breaking out with older age older age I'm not even that old I only turned 23 um, but when I was a teenager like when I was 16 17 I never ever had bad skin so that's why it was just that like I wasn't complaining because I was like, oh my god, I have acne. I didn't have acne. I just had a lot of reoccurring spots. I thought she was... Um, tough. <laughs> I thought she was going to pee on my floor. Um, but I had a... What was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. Fuck. <laughs> what was I saying? Were you listening to me? I never like took into consideration I didn't bloody leave my house for so long like I I remember when it was like three months into lockdown and I think I'd only really left my house for a walk I didn't even leave my area like <laughs> so um being inside all the time with heating on that wouldn't have been good for my skin like my skin was quite dried out and then drinking more coffee I only ever would have like one coffee on my way into work or college or whatever it was and I was having like three coffees a day. Um, what else? Just like not moving as much and stuff. My body was suffering the consequences of me being basically lazy and just eating and drinking whatever I wanted and not like paying attention to what I was putting into my body. Um, I wasn't sleeping properly as well. At the start of lockdown, I was quite stressed. I was anxious. So I was going to bed at like five o'clock in the morning. Some nights not getting much sleep. So that's obviously... What I'm what I'm trying to say is, what I'm getting at is, majority of the time, if you're someone maybe that's never suffered with your skin, I know some people they can't help. Maybe they have really oily skin or they have acne prone skin. Um, that's completely different. But also, what starts with your skin breaking out is usually your routine or what you're putting into your body. So you need to start from the inside out. This skincare it is very like step by step kind of I have a lot of products but I'm going to do a shorter video afterwards because all of my boyfriends <laughs> all of the lads that I am acquainted with um they were asking me about skincare and I don't know what it is about but I, I, I'm not speaking for all boys I know all boys are different but I think boys up until the age of like until they get to like 25 they just use shower gel for everything just shower gel for shampoo shower gel for body wash shower gel for face wash and then toothpaste if you ever go into a boys' bathroom if you're friends with any boys, I guarantee you the only thing you'll find. Maybe shampoo and a shower gel. But then they get to 25 and their collagen, their skin stops producing collagen and then they're like, I'm getting wrinkles now and I don't want to look like a 50-year-old man um, when you should have been doing your skincare since you were 16. Um, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step of my skincare routine. It's kind of a... Compl not complicated it's simple but it is a lot of products but I'm going to do a follow-up video of skincare routine for boys um, and maybe if you're someone that isn't used to skincare you could follow that routine it'll be a lot more simplified just your what my camera's gone dead I literally only turned it on and I haven't filmed in like three weeks oh this can't be happening not okay I'm gonna go get a coffee and I'll charge my camera I'll be back Okay, I just jumped in the shower while I was waiting for my oh, camera to <laughs> charge. Um, just a number one tip for anybody that is like a person that showers every morning. Um, don't wash your face. Well, if you can prevent washing your face in the shower, try wash it when you get out. But because if you wash your skin with boiling hot water, well not boiling hot water, but hot water, you're opening your pores and you're actually taking all of the natural moisture out of your skin. So you're going to strip your skin and actually dry out your skin. And if you already have acne or irritated skin, you can make it a lot worse. Look what... So the first thing I did then after my shower is I washed my face with the Ole Henriksen True Juice Cleanser. Um, I have it down in the bathroom, I'll just pop up a picture of it on the screen. Um, so this is one of my favourite cleansers, it's a gel to foam uh, cleanser. I prefer using a gel cleanser because I have normal combination skin, but during the night, like if I sweat in my sleep or anything, I tend to get quite sweaty and oily all around my nose and my chin. 
Um, so I find gel cleansers are really good for like oily to combination skin. And then as well, it has its polyhydroxy acid. So that's just good for lifting any dirt or oil off your skin. And then it has like an added orange scent. And that's like my favorite thing about it, to be honest. I like it because of the orange scent. It's just really refreshing for morning time. Well, I use it in the evening as well. Okay, so now that my skin is clean, the first thing I'm gonna use is my Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. So this is 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, which has your beta hydroxy acid, which exfoliates your skin from the top layer. And this also has salicylic and green tea extract in it. So this reduces the redness on your breakouts and I'm not messing, it says on the front here, it says it's for all skin types, unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores smooths and evens your skin tone and it's a lightweight liquid absorbed quickly so this product i think is what literally saved my skin I, and now i have seen on the Paula's choice website and like in other people's videos they put this on a cotton pad and clean their skin skin that way i don't tend to like dragging my skin when i'm using like a toner or an exfoliant i like to put it in the palm of my hand i only use a small amount rub it into my hand and then i just pat it into my skin because i feel like when you use a cotton pad, it kind of absorbs most of the product. So therefore you're kind of getting the most out of your product if you just use your fingers. And I pat it into my skin first and then I just kind of massage my skin. When you're rubbing your skin in the morning as well, your cleanser or your toner, the main thing is, is to apply pressure and not to stretch your skin. Your skin is like an elastic band. Like, you know, if you got, say, a big elastic band, and you just started pulling it and pulling it and every single day you're pulling it a little bit more. Eventually that elastic band is gonna go saggy and it's not gonna bounce back. That's exactly what your skin does. Next is the Biosense Squalene Vitamin C and Rosehip Oil. So squalene kind of does the same job as a hyaluronic acid. Sorry, I'll say this one, I'm not rubbing it into my skin. Um, it just hydrates your skin, whatever hydration that's already in your skin, it just holds all the hydration into your skin. And vitamin C, so your vitamin C, it brightens and nourishes your skin. And then last we have, there's rose oil in it. So rose oil is actually really good for scarring as well. If you have any past scars from spots, uh, rose hip oil is actually really good for that, but it just gives your skin that like natural go goal, that natural glow. Oi! You're a nuisance, you can go downstairs. Um, so that's my facial oil, so I use that after my toner. And then before you go on with any creams or any serums, you have to do your eye cream. So I've said before, eye cream is kind of like glor glorified moisturizer, but it is just thicker and richer because the skin underneath your eyes is a lot thinner than the rest of your face. So you need to be really, really careful when you're applying your eye cream. Just pat it in and then just really lightly rub it into under your eyes and let it kind of sit. Um, the main goal here is just really to hydrate around your eyes and go too deep into searching for good eye cream or anything like that because I'm not gonna lie, for the how many years I've been buying eye cream, I my eyes look the same. Like they, none of them have made like a significant difference to my eyes. So this is cut from Gold Fudden, Gold Fudden MD. Um, it's a brightening eye cream. It's just thick and really nourishing. So. That's why I like it. It's and then next we're gonna go in with my serum, which is my hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. So I said before in the beginning, um, the ordinary hyaluronic acid, I do like it, but it's just really sticky. I don't like my skin being sticky. I like my skin being like light and glowy um, and silky. So this is the hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. And I, if I can just, oh, sorry. Um, if I can, if you're able to see like the texture of it, um, it's a lot, see the way it's a lot more can you it's a lot more watery than the um that was such a bad demonstration <laughs> but it, as you can see like it's a lot more watery than the ordinary hyaluronic acid um i don't mind the ordinary hyaluronic acid but like i said yeah it's just sticky and if i go to put makeup on afterwards um sometimes my makeup like blotches or it just doesn't blend properly so i find this hyaluronic acid just 10 times better obviously they do the same job so if you like the ordinary or if you have hyaluronic acid from any other brand i'm sure it's all they all do the same job um okay so then next is my 
moisturizer and the azelic acid so like i said beforehand um the azelic acid i seen on the paula's choice instagram they put up really really good advice i'll put up their instagram on the screen they actually kind of educate you on what you should be using on your skin you're left with scars like i have been um to use these two together so, so what i do i mix my moisturizer with the azelic acid and then i put it onto my skin together so the azelic acid what this does is it helps any brown spots from sun damage so if you have any sun damage on your skin it helps reduce the brown spots or if you have any acne scars it reduces your acne scars and it works a dream a dream it works a treat i used it for like two weeks and within those two weeks my scars have really really gone down like i know i still have them but they kind of just look like freckles now at this stage um and then my moisturizer like i said i watched jamie genevieve's video and why would you not take advice from a woman that has literally a wall full of skincare and she has like the most expensive skincare like she has a custom spade or skincare and then she has like the inculus which is like seven euro for a, um, a serum so if there's anyone to take advice from it's somebody that knows your stuff and has every single type of skincare on her wall that if she's picking these products they must be good but obviously then you have to take into consideration skin type and what your skin suits and stuff like that my moisturizer is the glow recipe pink juice watermelon glow watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer by glow recipe i just said that all the opposite way and um, this is perfect for people that have oily skin or combination skin it's really really lightweight it's perfect for underneath makeup like honestly you don't need a primer if you're using this before you apply your makeup i don't know if you can see it on the screen it's kind of blurred out there um and it has watermelon extract which is really good for restoring antioxidants vitamins and your amino acids so it's perfect for hydrating your skin it gives you a really natural glow and that's just why i like it it works perfectly with um going underneath my makeup so first of all what i do is i put like a pea size of the azelic acid into my hand and then i just mix two pumps of my watermelon glow recipe and that's all it takes you only need a really small amount and then I just blend them together and then moisturize my skin as you can see there's not a lot of dragging with these products I love like serum kind of water-based products they just go on so seamlessly and like that's what I love I love just looking really hydrated glowy and kind of have a natural skin dew if you have any leftover product in your hands, just massage it down into your neck. So I got in a goodie bag. Okay, so I'm on my last product, so I'm just going to explain this to you. Um, explain this to you. This is very serious. No, it's not serious at all. So I got a goodie bag from Cult Beauty, and it was full of products. I was in shock. I didn't know I was getting it. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. I got so many products, even I got some like full size products like this is from Ren. I thought it would be f filled with testers, but this is a 100ml bottle. I got some really, really nice products. Um, I'm going to use them over the next couple of weeks and I will do a review on them and I might just do like what's in the goodie bag. But one thing that was in it, and I was looking for a sun cream for so long because I couldn't find a cruelty free brand that had sun cream. Um, that would suit my skin and I found this okay well not found it it came to me in the post um, it's called super goop S super goop unseen sunscreen this is how do I unseen sunscreen uh, super goop sun cream <laughs> it is only factor 30 they are a cruelty free brand it's water resistant and this is the best part about it look at this it's clear so you're not going to have any white casts on your face. It blends seamlessly and it feels so nourishing. Like it goes on like a... I've, I've said this like three times straight. All of these products that I use, they just go on like a serum. Like they're real silky, smooth and really, really blendable. Absolutely gorgeous weather out there today. <laughs> um, no, it's lashing and raining and obviously we don't get that much sun in Ireland. If I was someone that worked outdoors, I probably would wear Factor 50 even though we don't have sun. Um, just because sun damage to your skin, it's literally like going in reverse. Like you could be doing all of this skincare and if you don't have your sun cream on, you're not doing yourself any favours. Um, number two as well, after I found this out two years ago, apparently car heaters, anything that's heat directly onto your skin, can damage your skin so car heaters and like heater fans you know there's some people in like offices if their office is really cold they'll have like heaters on their desk or under the desk don't do that you're damaging your skin you heard it here first 
Um, I hope I explained it well. I don't know if I did or not. That looks like I have a little rat's tail. So that is my skincare routine for my morning. I, that took me like 16 minutes to do. That doesn't take that long. It usually takes me about three minutes to do. Um, but I will back to be. I will back to be. I will be back to you this evening with my nighttime skin routine. Okay guys, it's now 9 o'clock in the evening and I'm going to be doing my evening skincare routine. It is fairly similar to my morning routine, just there's like two, yeah, two different, or three different products that I change in the, during, in the night time. There is three different products that I change in the evening, um, just because of sun exposure and just for heavier creams for night time. Um, does that even make sense, what I just said? I wear heavier creams at night time just because. <sighs> so I've already washed my face and again, I'm going in with the Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Um, I'm just gonna use a small amount of that on my hand. And then again, just pat it into my skin. Okay, and then I will go on to my Biosense. I don't know if I'm saying that properly. I only recently got this. I got this in the Cult Beauty goodie bag, but um, apparently it's a good brand. It's cruelty free. And, well, yeah, it seems to be a good brand. I'm actually really enjoying their facial oil. It's really nice. Um, it makes my skin a lot more glowy and it gives my skin like this natural glow and it like really evens out my skin tone. And then I always just bring down my facial oil down into my neck. And then third product, okay, so earlier on I was explaining how I don't really think too much into my eye creams, I just buy whatever, but in the morning I use that Bright Eyes eye cream by Goldfaden, Goldfaden, I bet you I'm saying that wrong, but in the evening time I use the Inky List Retinol eye cream. Now, again, I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I just know retinol is good for preventing wrinkles. So I just use a small amount of that and I just put a little bit underneath my eyes and then on each side of my lip just to prevent getting smile lines, wrinkles around my mouth. The only reason I started doing this, I haven't seen anyone do it, it just says it on the back of the bottle. And just let that set into the skin. And then next I'm going back in the same, the Hyaluronic Serum and I put in a small bit of that. And this time I'm mixing my Azelic Acid with my Hyaluronic Serum. So. Just a small pea size of that and mix it in with my hyaluronic serum. Yeah, and just kind of like slowly massage it into your skin. Try not to pull on your skin. So after the azelic acid and my hyaluronic acid, I go onto my sleep mask. So again, it's Glow Recipe. Um, this is their sleep mask. This is probably my favorite Glow Recipe po uh, product. Um, this sleeping mask is just like a really thicker version of the Pink Juice uh, Glow Recipe Watermelon. What the hell? It is a thicker version of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice. Why did I say that backwards? Um, it's really good for restoring vitamins, antioxidants, um, and amino acids. And it's just really, really thick. So during the night, like it keeps your face really hydrated. And then I have my last Paula's Choice um, product. This is only like a test bottle of it because it's like 57 euro, I think. Um, I paid 20 for this, I think. Um, it is a 1% retinol treatment with peptides and vitamin C. So you know vitamin C is really good for brightening the skin and energizing your skin. And it is a high percentage of retinol. So you'll see on some of the ordinary products, they'll always have like 0.2% retinol or 0.1 or 0. Point whatever. This is a 1% retinol, so it is a strong retinol. But what I do is I scoop a big bit of the sleeping mask. You'll see like the texture of it. Like, it's like jelly. It's literally like putting jelly on your skin and it's so hydrating, it's so nice. Anyone who has dry skin, this would be a really, really good product for you. And then I get a small bit of the retinol, like literally a teeny tiny amount, whatever. Oh, I actually don't know if there's much left in this. I might have used the last of it last night. I think it's all gone. Yeah, she's all out. <laughs> But anyway, that is the retinol that I've been using. It's a vitamin C retinol by Paula's Choice. A really, really good retinol, but it is very strong. So be careful with it. If you've sensitive skin, maybe start off in a lower percentage. So I'm just gonna go in and massage the sleeping mask into my skin. 
Um, I got this spot a couple of days ago on my lip and it was huge. Like, no, is that my, all of the products that I'm using helping replenish and restore my skin faster? But it like, it hasn't left any sort of a scar and that was a horrible, huge spot and I was expecting my skin to be scarred for a while, but it's already gone down. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I know I haven't been on YouTube in so long. It's been like three weeks since I did all my yeah, makeup videos. But I'm back to work now. I'm hoping I'm going to be getting a few more. Sorry, people are just coming home. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get a few more makeup videos up soon. So I will see you in the next video.